Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising Weekly Tarot and Enormant Reading for uh, December 31st to January 6, 2018 So that being said, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, I want to remind you once again that that is a general reading for Cancer Star Sign uh, therefore it's going to resonate in a different level for every single different cancer for that reason in this video I will uh, do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, you will have to basically align the reading to your personal situation now if you want me to analyze your situation just like I'm doing with the examples in this video uh, that is a subject of personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing so these are the tarot cards the general tarot cards and this is going to be a four card tarot spread so the first card it is showing the topic of your week then we do have uh, the uh, second card which is the core of the situation the third card here that is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last card that we do have this is going to be the guidance that Taro is offering to you so just from the overview of the cards it does look like that this week for you Cancer is a about uh, finalizing an important thing so you can uh, basically exhilarate yourself with it for a, a long period of time this can be observed here in these couple of cards in the nine of cups I will start with it because this is the most important card in the reading so the nine of cups if you open any book of tarot it says joy it says dream comes true and etc etc it's basically very cheerful and very uh, and a card of glee that is true but what the tarot books doesn't tell you for how long this glee is going to is going to last is going to last with this card not for very long unless you don't do things to sustain it so that is a, a short term happiness and in order for you to traverse it into a long term one then you have to continue on working on it so this is where the king of pentacles comes around and uh, <clears throat> for you this card points that you have to throw every effort you do have in order to sustain that achievement and to nurture it for further consumption if I may express myself that way these couple of cards are passive friendly which means that you should not strain your sight into anything new throughout that week until you actually solidify that achievement and you don't secure it that is also very important so you have to do whatever it takes in order to secure this achievement and with the king of pentacles it may require for you to pull some strings to pull some connections into the matter for example if you do have friends that can help you with uh, sustaining that achievement of yours either relationship or either in career again it will depend on your personal situation that will help a lot if financial investment in it is going to help you sustain it that as well needs to be um, needs to be executed if you need to invest more time in it as well that also have to be the priority for you and uh, with example I will tell you what I mean here so uh, let's say that you are single and let's say that you are dating someone that you are really interested in and finally around the New Year's Eve or couple of days after that person agrees to try to make a relationship with you okay and uh, here comes the sense of where one takes the other for granted that will be the completely wrong approach with the nine of cups i mean it is good you know that you do have the person that you're interested in in a relationship but what you can do in order in order to sustain that relationship that is the thing so because you have reached a certain achievement throughout that week that doesn't mean 
that you should drop off your guard. The work for you to traverse it into a long-lasting thing, it is yet to be uh, it is yet to be exerted, and that's why you should uh, basically kind of maintain your performance. This is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> With the Three of Swords there, however, into the uh, disadvantageable position, or this is a card that causes predicaments, you will find a couple of things. It will go either way. One of the ways that this card could go is that you are going to find that this achievement of yours it's much harder to be sustained than you thought is going to be in that case it will devour a lot of your time and as well it will require from you to put much more efforts than you have initially anticipated and that may kind of like exhaust you a lot the more grimmer interpretation of the card is that you may find out that what you have achieved it's not what you wanted for one or another reason but you are already there and you cannot simply walk away so you have to basically live with it and uh, do what you can in order to traverse it into something positive for yourself now again this is just a challenge that can be overcome and if it plays out for in the grim interpretation then this card kind of points that you are uh, focused upon um, the negative aspect of this uh, of this achievement of yours instead of the positive aspect. Just because you don't see the positive the positivity in there, it doesn't mean that it, it does not exist. It is just perhaps you have been biased about um, about what is to be when it actually happens and you are disappointed finding out that it is nothing like you have imagined it to be but that doesn't mean again that there is uh, there isn't any positivity in uh, in your achievement and just on the contrary how you can overcome this kind of a uh, <clears throat> predicament well you basically accept the truth and from there uh, you work your way in order to traverse that you have uh, accomplished in a way that you want it. Uh, that is a one positive thing here with the Nine of Cups that it is saying that the, the work is far from done and that this happiness is just a short, short term one and you need to kind of like work more in order to make it a long term one because it kind of opens a, 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 a margin for error, right? So yeah, you, you may find yourself not very happy of the achievement itself or what it is the result of that achievement but there isn't too late for you to traverse it in a way that you want it it is just you have to just sober yourself from the situation and kind of you know recognize what needs to be done in order to meet your expectations if i may express myself that way and can your expectations be met they can with the King of Pentacles, you just need to throw your resources, again, either money, time, emotions, and etc., etc., in the right direction. That is up for most importance. And what is the right direction? We do have the Nine of Pentacles. So what the Nine of Pentacles represents is the, uh, is the big fish, basically. It is the... Um, like philosopher's stone like making iron in gold so you need to throw your investments into that direction that you can perform in it and that you can make things happen in it with ease this card denies struggling this card denies depending on something or on someone so you have to dive yourself if i may express myself that way in that direction that you are a hundred percent sure that you can do it on your own or that you can um, sustain it uh, on your own otherwise it you will just going to kind of like continuously depend on certain resources 
or on certain people. Now additionally this card points that you may kind of bump into the one with the uh, Nine of Cups if we're following the the example with being single you know I'm dating with someone and they finally decide to give you a chance that card could mean that this is the one that is the guidance here is it gonna be perfect most likely no at least not at the start here with the three of swords you may realize you know that they have some habits that you don't like or something in their routine is seriously uh, aggravating you and annoying you and etc etc can you work it through you can definitely can work it through here with the King of Pentacles with the right investments and in this case emotional investments and as well time investments. So basically it will depend how tenacious you are and how much do you want to cultivate that achievement of yours that will define how long this achievement is going to last. For some it's going to last a, a lifetime, for others they will lose it in a couple of days and etc etc again it does depend how tenacious you are in order to do it and lastly the nine of pentacles here if you want more practical um a more practical interpretation this card asks you to focus upon your career and upon making money or in other words to uh, secure independence for yourself and independence in this in these days is only secured through career and money if you have enough money to not rely on someone you are independent so basically this is what the card asks you to do if you follow the most practical um, <clears throat> interpretation of it so that being said going to the Lenormand reading now uh, what the Lenormand cards are to show us is a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right. So the first card that we do have, this is a, the Clover. The Clover stands for um, small amounts of luck, small amounts of success, something really small. Uh, then we do have the um, the garden. The garden stands for social gathering, social circle, and socializing. Basically, everything that it is connected with crowd and people. And the last one that is going to be the uh, whip and the broom. And the whip and the broom stands for arguments. It stands for uh, wrangles. It does stands as well for uh, rivalry. It's kind of like competition. So what we do have here is that you will uh, have a rango with someone from your social circle over a trifle, over a small amount of luck. So let's say that you get one step ahead by a luck and they re are really jealous of it or they feel that it is kind of unjust toward them and they will kind of raise their voice. Uh, against it so you have to defend your standpoint so it's kind of like if you don't want to mess with uh, negativity throughout the week it will be best if you strain yourself from people that cannot handle uh, your success because again success it is what you're gonna have for how long well that will depend again on how tenacious you are and determined you are to cultivate it so that being said, Cancers, this was your uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to uh, January 6th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was just a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. Therefore, it will resonate differently with uh, every single different Cancer. If you want your personal situation to be analyzed just like I did for the examples in this video, well, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can go from to, to my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.